To start your Thursday morning, here are some incredibly inspirational and motivating words from Joe Biden. My heart, there's nothing our nations can't achieve if we do it together. I really mean it. So thank you all. God bless you all. Let's go. Let's go lick, lick the world. Let's get it done. That's right. Grab the bull by the horns and go lick the world this morning. Take it from Joe. Happy Thursday. Welcome to his education and welcome to another episode of Try Not to Laugh. Here on our Thursday videos, there's no punishment if you laugh, okay? But you need to take these games seriously. These games are a warm up for Sunday where if you laugh, you lose, you do a punishment. And we're gonna jump right into today's video, guys. So if you're ready for today's video, head down and like this video. And if you are new here, please make sure you are subscribed and have the bell clicked for notifications when new videos are uploaded. Now, let's go lick the world, guys. Try not to laugh, go. Colby Cohen has been an exciting first 40 minutes. Luke Hughes and the Michigan Wolverines trying to get through this difficult <laughs> Winnipeg defense. It's how we set up the game. The Grow up. Offense again. Grow up, guy. Of course, you have a Tampa Bay Lightning shirt on. Get out of here, man. Minnesota Wild. Come on. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. All right. We got a, a storm here. Kind of scary looking. Lots of stuff flying. But the chair stays. Ow. How? Be one with the chair, okay? Be the chair, folks. Go lick the world. Be the chair. Stand strong in the storm. That's the, that's the, we're getting philosophical on today's show already. Who the hell opened and freaking skinned all the rotisserie chickens and left them open at freaking Sam's Club right now? Control your freaking kids. Oh, man, who did this? You're taking the best part and you're doing it for free. What's wrong with you? I hope this was a kid. I mean, if it wasn't, this is an adult going around here eating all the chicken skin on the rotisseries. Jeez. It's the best part. What is your gender? My gender. Mm. I'm a mechanic. <laughs> mechanic, mechanic. <laughs> what is your gender? Yeah. Uh, me too. Me too. This is something you shouldn't do. What was that? Is that a dog? Uh-oh. It's Hillary. <laughs> ow, 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 ow. <laughs> oldie. Oldie classic. I know we've had it before. We have to keep that in there. That's... I love it. It's, it's hilarious. That one friend on Facebook that always posts a vague status for attention. Don't really want to get into it, but I'm fine. Oh, boy. Well, this is the last thing I wanted. Oh. This is the last thing. Really? Now, that's exactly what you wanted. You know, you're not getting the attention. You got to post it. So I got in the ER again. Whoopsies. Someone's in trouble. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, this continually happens, boys. If that's... Oh. Oh. Just gives me anxiety. It, like you're in this situation. Get yourself out of it. That is not healthy right there. Like you should be having those conversations face to face, not freaking writing novels. And again, what do you respond to that with? K. That's <laughs> right? That's Oh, I think she got it. You get it? Michael does right, not do it. Where is it? <laughs> Jeez, he's scared. Oh my gosh. Dude, I don't like spiders either. But sometimes you just gotta compartmentalize. You gotta suck it down. You gotta you gotta put the fear. And you gotta place it in the back of your brain, man. Especially in front of your daughter. Oh, one more time. I gotta see it again. Oh, I think she got it. You get it? All right, I throw it away. Good job. Where is it? <laughs> oh, it's terrible. Oh. You can do it, Michael. Next time. <laughs> Point of view, telling your boss you're leaving work early because you're not feeling 100%. <laughs> you're going to golf. That's right. It's that season, folks. Your, golf, your buddy, he ain't leaving because he doesn't feel good. It's because it's freaking 72 and sunny. He's leaving at noon to go get a tea time. And I don't blame him. I hope you should all be doing that. Well, this is embarrassing. 
Anybody want to see how my life's going right now? <laughs> Stop it. No, you do not. Please tell me this was taken in like January. <sighs> I'm afraid to ask this. How many of you still have your Christmas tree up? Don't lie about it. Be honest about it. We're at the end of April because I know, I know, <laughs> I know some of you are breaking the rules and you have your Christmas tree up still. I know it. I, I just, I know it. Let me know in the comments. Boarding a plane has gotten out of hand. Right now they're boarding veterans, then Sky, then Sky Priority, then anyone with a tummy ache. And then I think after them is anyone who studied abroad and won't shut up about it. I just want to get on the plane. Uh, you know how you board a plane? You just sit there and let everyone else funnel in right away and nudge against each other. Why don't you just wait? Oh, oh, you want to get the overhead luggage. Well, don't bring something that you need to store in the overhead luggage. Just bring a backpack that you can put underneath the, the seat in front of you. And there you go. You don't have to deal with it. You just sit there, be the last one on, and you don't have to join the chaos. It's that simple. I think everyone likes to say, oh, I was such a weird kid, you know. Um, I memorized, all right, the textures of my Harry Potter wands on the off chance that I went blind. Ooh. Hey, at least you're owning up to it now. And you realize that that's weird. You know, kids, weird. we do weird things when we're kids. But there are people that become adults and don't realize that that is weird. And then they be become weird adults. And then they start thinking there are things that they're not. And it's just, it's a whole slippery slope. We, we see it happen time and time again. So you're lucky you got saved somehow. Yeah. Oh yeah. Good. Megan's favorite golf clips. Here we go. Oh, oh. <laughs> what, the <laughs> what are you doing? You're not Phil Mickelson, dude. Put that. Texas wedge it. Come on, man. Go, 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 go. Bryce saves another turtle. She goes across the road. Why the turtle across the road? <laughs> Dude, you saw a dog with sunglasses just drove by. Wait till I show you the replay. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, no shot. <laughs> what, are, what are the chances? That's a good dog owner right there. Dog likes to put his head out the window. You know, give him some glasses. Give him some goggles. I love it. And props to you, you save the turtle. You know, you used to call me the broom in high school. Why, because you're skinny with a big head? No, because I used to sweep girls off their feet. Oh, that's bad. Wait, does that say 99 cents? That's a smoking deal. If that's a 99 cent broom there, I don't... No, that's, that can't be right. Dumb joke. Dumb. Point of view, every time I eat with my husband. Looks like you got a pizza pie there. Not the, not the good kind. <laughs> you know, okay, you know why this is happening? And this is just the truth. It'll, if it's me, I get hangry. We're going out to eat. I'm, I'm expecting to eat. And when we get the food, I'm going to eat. I'm, I don't want to take pictures of it. I don't want to talk about it. I just want to eat the food. And then if you've been in the military, you know. You know, you got to eat fast sometimes. So, uh, yeah, it, it's just, it happens. And I don't know how it's going to change. It just, it's ingrained in you at this point. You don't even have a cat. It's not for a cat. What's it for? It's me. <laughs> even the cats know, man. The pets, our pets around us, they're like, what is wrong with these people? Who else has this massive stainless steel bowl that's like at least 25 years old and has held everything from puke and popcorn to Halloween candy and brownie batter? <laughs> Yeah, there's that stainless steel bowl. Uh, then that that like puke yellow brown bowl. We've seen the meme before. Everyone's got it. Everyone's got a universal bowl. Feet have been in there. Food, puke. Yeah, it's just it's disgusting. But it's just an important tool in our arsenal these days. And you you know you should have it. Four way stops are a Midwest nightmare. What's this guy doing? You go. <laughs> no, no, go. Please go. That's a nice truck. I have to say that. <laughs> no, and then you go through that whole rigmarole there. 
And then all of a sudden, you know, you're like, okay, finally I'll go. And then you guys both start going again. And then you go through the whole cycle. It's a weird thing. And if it, it's got to happen elsewhere. But in the Midwest, I know specifically in like rural Minnesota, because people in the cities are pricks. Rural Minnesota, this is the truth. Non-binary people, when they eat ramen noodles and not raw they noodles. <laughs> that is bad. ramen. ramen. <laughs> or uh, when they, again, women, women, yeah. Huh? Ramen, that's okay. All right, we're stretching it there. They might get mad at that. I don't know. Maybe. What I imagine it's like being a labor and delivery nurse. Congrats, Mama. Congrats. What's her name for the birth certificate? Her name's Taintly. I'm sorry, what? I misunderstood you. <clears throat> Taintly. Taintly? No, Taintly. Taintly. No S. Mm -hmm. No plural, just singular. Taintly. <laughs> it's so unique, wow. right? How'd you come up with that one? Why don't you just name your kids something normal? You don't, they don't have to be original. They can become original through their actions, okay? They don't need to be original and, and unique at birth because they're not. You know, babies are babies, but I digress. Moving on. Go to the thrift store. That's where all the heat is at. That's what they say, huh? What do they find? What's save a horse, ride a car? Come on, man. Where is this? What in the Sam Hills of Kentucky? Kentucky, I love you guys. I do. I really do. I found someone. This old guy? Sid. Go. He's already achieved so much, and yet he's still goal-oriented and still focused. And he has a five-year plan. What is it? Don't die? <laughs> Great movie. Big Daddy. Great movie. And <laughs> You have to ask, like, what is the five-year plan? For real. What, is he going to be like 86 at that point? 87? She tried. What is he? What is he? What is this? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? That's no. That's the guy from the Goonies. That ain't Kobe. <laughs> oh, okay. That's more accurate <laughs> if we're being honest. <laughs> she tried. <laughs> oh, that's that's the guy from the Goonies. I kind of want to buy that. Now, whoever made this, um, give you a hundred bucks. <laughs> <That is, laughs> <I just> <laughs> you know, they say practice makes perfect. So just keep that in mind. Man, I've been waiting on one of these, bro. Let's have a night tonight. Dude, try this one. Why? Just do it. All right. I mean, it's good, but what the f No, what'd you put in that? No, stop. What the hell? Oh, what the hell, dude? What was in that, bro? Dude, y'all are with me, man, dude. That had some kick, bro. <laughs> that had some kick. <laughs> guys. Guys. Enough Bud Lightning. <laughs> Must watch with sound. Give me a boom, boom, pow. Five, six, seven, eight. Boom, boom. <laughs> you know they have cameras. They do. <sighs> bad, 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 bad. Tie your damn shoes, kids. Tie your shoes, and that won't be a problem. Another Bud Light. Okay. What's up, bro? Hey, man, just getting some Coors Light. Got some No, just getting some Coors Light for the party. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, oh, yeah. We good? What the heck, man? You doing? <laughs> you don't want to be caught buying Bud Light these days. That's just a fact. Probably forever now. I mean, that's just what they did. Team meeting, icebreaker question, what is one of your irrational fears? Sometimes when I'm pooping, I worry that it's a dream and I'm really pooping my pants elsewhere. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> Please tell me this is like a corporate meet and greet Zoom call. And you got like your higher ups on there. <laughs> Is that irrational? Because all of you, when you're kids, you know you had the dream that. Yes. Is it irrational? That's my question. <laughs> Girl fails miserably to solve the puzzle. 
solid or spin it or but do fresh something quickly. Um, I'll spin it. Okay. How does she look strong? Okay, fresh drop of the fruit. Say it. Say it. Yeah. Okay, Say it. Yeah. I'll go with a G. What? You nuts? Ah, uh, dude. I don't know why, but uh, what this show has been around since what? The 70s, 80s? I swear, up until this year, I mean, I've never seen so many viral clips of people saying dumb things, getting words wrong. Case in point. I forgot to say this one was heavy. There you go. Oh my gosh. Hey, at least you're being smart about using the balcony. You know, if you can, you can throw stuff off the balcony. Save you a couple times, couple steps, you know. Oh no, Travis Kelsey. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Dude. Hey, you know what? It's that big old ring you got on your finger. Two of them. So I don't blame you. Every parent that has slept next to the baby monitor. <laughs> Every time. And then you, you get the random, like, just, <laughs> and then they go right back to sleep. Parents, yeah, you seen that? No one told my dad it's for dollars extra per yellow plate. It's a nice little tab there. What do you got, like 48 bucks, 50 bucks? Hey. Hey, it's all right. He's looking at the thing. He's looking at it. Come on. Get out of here. He should have known better. If you don't know what that is, Sushi Go Round. I know they have a couple. I know there's one in like Scottsdale or something. A couple in California. You're missing out. If you've never had a Sushi Go Round, it is one of the best things you'll ever experience in your life. It's amazing. Kid accidentally calls the police on himself while playing video games. Uh, that was my bad. That was my bad. I was, play I was, I was playing the game. And uh, I got butt down the phone. Okay. That was my bad. What? No, no. It's only me home. Okay, so this was just an accident. You yeah. called 911. Yeah, Did you say you killed two people or something like that? Rainbow Six Siege. I had my head on. Okay, how old are you? <laughs> 17. You're 17. Do you have a driver's license or no? Uh, no. Okay. I don't have a driver's license. Just playing freaking. What do you say, Rainbow Six? Okay. It's like the worst time you can call butt dial the police, man. Oh, poor kid. There's a lesson for you. I know a lot of you like to play Call of Duty and all these first person shooters. Don't be uh, butt down the police. When you trusted a fart, you shouldn't have. Oh, dude, really? You're gonna desecrate Tiger like this? Oh, man. <laughs> uh, he just had su a successful back surgery, folks, by the way, just FYI. So that's terrible. I mean, it is, it's accurate. <laughs> Can you name three countries in Africa? Africa? Africa's its own thing. Yes. Can you name three countries in Africa? But you just asked me that. There's only three. I mean, there's only one because it's its own place. Yeah, it was a, it was a trick question. You got it. Oh, okay. Do you know what three times three times three is? Three, six, nine. Yes. Do you know who the current vice president is? Vice president? Yeah. Isn't that the girl? What's her name? Fuck, I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I, I mean, all these people in this video, I think they're being honest, which is troubling. That damn sign. <laughs> nice cast, brother. Nice cast. That's You got some accuracy on that. Point of view, you want to relax on the weekend, but you own a home. This is the worst. <laughs> <laughs> ah, dude, that is one of the pitfalls of owning a home. You can't not do that stuff. You have to take care of it, which is, you know, the yard, the house. And if you don't, it goes to hell and it looks bad and you look lazy and it just enjoy when you buy a house. Enjoy. When the chicken a little too juicy and you have a fear of salmonella. Oh yeah, you let that thing, you always let the chicken, chicken pork, you always let it go on. By the way, how'd you spell salmonella here? Salam, salamiana? Sal 
You can always just eat it with like A1 steak sauce or whatever. Ketchup. If you're one of those people, eat it with ketchup. Let's play a game called what's everybody's favorite road trip snack. I'll go first. Shrimp cocktail. <laughs> what? Uh, those are pretty good, yes, but road trip? Road trip, you got to go corn nuts. The ranch corn nuts. Uh, all they ever do. Every Minnesotan, when real spring hits. I just need you to see something real quick. You, you see this? You see this? This is grass, okay? We haven't seen it for seven months. This is the greatest moment of my life. <laughs> At least in, in the past year. Yeah, and you know what happens after you, that video there? You get another three inches of snow the week after. Every time. Every year, literally six to seven months of winter every year. Why do we do this? Why do we do this? Whoever wanted to move here? Can Canadians. I know you guys have a worse Winnipeg. You guys have like seven, eight months of winter. Why? Why do we do this? The egg was not on the salmon. So can I please get a new one? I don't want to eat this. Can you leave already? Why are you even here? You're joking, right? I can't Is she make being this serious? Up. Why is the egg not on the salmon? You guys can see clearly that I'm not making this up. Like I'm I not making this up. Do you guys see this egg that's not on here? They put it on there, you idiot. Idiot. Okay, I'm sorry. You would have to ask Okay, so I ordered a salmon benedict, which the egg clearly is supposed to be on. And then why is the sauce even on the side? Like it's supposed to be on top. Can I just speak to the manager? Like I'm so I am the She's being serious. I really don't know who hired you to be a manager, but I can clearly see that you are not, you know, the right person for this job. Dude. I'm gonna try to put this on. If it like opens <laughs> on the way, I'm literally gonna have to ask you to bring me another one. Dude, she's filming herself like she's in the oh right. God. That's okay, the best part. Breaking. Can I get a new one? Sorry, yeah. Can I please get a new one with like a new plate? It's to be a <laughs> story. Because I'm honestly not eating this until you bring me a new one. Sorry. I'm actually leaving. I'm so sorry. Like, I'll just leave. You can just serve this to the next person because I didn't <laughs> eat it yet. But I really appreciate it. And she's crying. Ah, oh, that's funny and not funny because that person was serious. Have you ever been with someone like that at a restaurant? It hasn't been this bad. This is the the problem with our generation: entitled, spoiled brats. Man, and I hate to say that because that's my generation, but it's the truth. What do you think about today's video? Did you laugh at all? If you did, you lose. And I, I highly recommend going to test yourself some more over on the Zeducation Shorts channel where we continue to grow there. Our goal is to be at 100,000 by the end of the year, hopefully. So go support us over there and test yourself again because you will be tested on Sunday. And if you laugh, you lose, you will do a punishment. Let me know how you did down in the comments. While you're down there, please like this video. Please help us get it recommended to others. That's it for today's video. Till next time. I'm Tyler Zed, and this is Education. For the children. Idiots.